Hey, Thursday. Uh, wow, it's five sixteen. That means I've been here nine and a half hours. See, I told you I'd make it up. Uh, at least. When did I get here? Feels like forever ago. I guess I'm getting closer to ten hours. Anyway. Uh. Woof. Let's get this out of the way first. This is number 169. Yesterday, number 168. I did the entire 10 minutes with uh, the number saying 167. And I realized it about a couple minutes after I'd uploaded it. And so when I put the video up, because I had nothing better to do, I tagged it. Uh, I'm trying to look at it now so I can read the exact quote. Come on, YouTube. But I alluded to it. I didn't come out and say it, so it was confusing. I said, quote, no, I didn't. Well, I did, but after. Obviously referring to the fact that I didn't change the number, but I did change it after. I say this because Facebook exploded with comments. Not really. But immediately, Phil uh, George said, off by one, off by one, your digital magnets, they're off by one. To which I responded, you should have just posted first. Phil uh, answered, but, but, it says 167 on the cabinet and 168 on the video number. I know. Give me a break. It's, you know what this is? It's, it's like, you could spend an hour crafting the perfect tweet, witty, insightful, germane, fits in the 140 character limit without looking like you had to take a lot of words out or change letters to numbers to shorten words, this or that. The perfect tweet, send it out there, no response. Nobody, nobody favorites it, nobody retweets it, nobody responds to it. For all you know, nobody read it. But if you butt dial one or two characters and send that out as a tweet, everybody responds to make fun of you, and your cloud score goes through the roof. Something wrong, man, something wrong. It gets to the point where you feel like you have to make errors on purpose to get people to pay attention to you. In fact, I had to say that in an email earlier this week. I said, I swear I'm not intentionally including typos to see if you read this or not. Because that's how I get the responses. Now we can take it as a compliment. So infrequently do I make these kind of errors that when I do make them, they are to be celebrated and made a big deal of. Pardon me. I would just prefer to not make those errors, though. Ever. Am I a perfectionist? Uh, sometimes. Uh, and clearly only in certain areas. For instance, I really should wash my hair. Hey, you do some laundry. Look, I'm down to wearing advertisements. Of course, if I can make it one more day, then I'd have a whole weekend to do laundry. I don't know. It's going to be close. Uh, 519. I did tell you what time it was. I did not tell you it's 72 degrees. That's our current weather bug unofficial temperature. Back in the 70s. Crazy, man. Crazy. They're saying we might hit 81 more time. I'm still getting ready to pull the air conditioner out of the window, though. Usually it goes in June 1st and it comes out October 1st, even though practically all of September it never gets used. But it's such a pain to move it, so I kind of end up putting it off. But that big old heavy bulky, I'm going to get that thing back in the attic if it kills me, and it probably will. I talked about being not in the center of the picture yesterday. And Chaplau, who is a graphical designer type guy who knows about such things, says being off center is considered better by the standards of professional cinematography. So there you go. Also, I want a shirt like that one. Let me tell you that Space Invaders, it's a knockoff Space Invaders shirt. And 
The fact that it was a knockoff meant that Target could sell it for $10 when they sold it two years ago. And I get more comments on that shirt than almost any of the other crazy shirts that I wear for some reason. I don't know. It just resonates with people or they like the colors or they realize it's off but they can't quite place how it's off because they recognize the subject matter but the colors are weird. And I was in Target last night before I hit the grocery store. I wanted to see if I could get the candy corn Oreos because I am told they are exclusively at Target. They were not at this Target. Everywhere it said candy corn Oreos, there were instead those orange cream Halloween Oreos that everybody has, which are just Oreos with food coloring added to the stuff. So either I missed my window or they were so awful they were pulled. I have one other close target to go to to check, but no one's going to feel bad if I don't eat candy corn Oreos in front of you. Well, I feel a little bad. Maybe. My point is, when I was at that target, I got complimented on the shirt. And the people who complimented me worked at Target. And it's like, you know, you sold this shirt two years ago, right? I think there's a high turnover at Target. Then when I was at Rainbow, the grocery store, two people there. The woman behind the meat counter uh, who served up the meat and my cashier both told me, oh, I really like that shirt. Who knew? But I guess that's why I buy crazy shirts and wear them, to get people to talk about me. Because I'm so starved for attention. The simple act of putting on a shirt is a cry to the world for attention. Much in the way that these videos are a cry for attention. Cheryl responded to Tuesday's video. I want to watch these, but all you seem to do is talk, talk, talk. Hey, you figured it out. I like a man of action. Look at me move. Can you demonstrate how to do a smoky eye? What is a smoky eye? Or how to move like Jagger. At least take your shirt off. Sex slash comedy sells. It would be quite comedic if I took this shirt off. Uh, it is very unlikely, however, that that will happen. I will try to fix my hair, though. I do that all the time, though. You know, I, I, sometimes I go back and watch these, and I'm like, I just got to keep my hands away from my face for 10 minutes. Is it even possible? But it isn't. Uh, this led to me sharing some VU links with Cheryl which she found entertaining enough to ask me a question on VU, uh, asked me if I danced. And if not, would I dance after a few beers? Which is ironic because she actually knows the answer to this question, but she asked it anyway. I did answer it. If you want that answer, vyou.com slash CRZ. And I would love it if you asked me a short question there as well. Uh, answers there, two minutes or under. So if you can't handle 10 minutes of this, Go to VU. Ask a short question there. There best be some dancing involved. I did my best. She did like the link I did uh, with the chicken dance in it. Uh, I have more Facebook comments from yesterday. Pie Man, you finally messed up on the number. It's a sad day. And then Phil liked that comment. Just drive the knife in, guys. Just every little thing. Cheryl commented last. And I, I gave that one a like. Let's go to the W, where Greg and Doug are having their own discussion. I guess I was bemoaning my lack of followers. It's funny, uh, two of the reporters at the TV station I watched had this contest to see who could get to 10,000 first. I'm sitting there with my 500. And then one of the female reporters said, boy, when I get another 900, I'm going to smoke you guys. But when she gets another 900, she'll have 2,000, not 20,000. And I, I want to correct her math, but I also think that would make me a jerk. And I can't do it without being sexist probably at the same time. So, so if Janet ever watches this, she will not. Sorry. Uh, Doug, does someone need a Friday? Does someone need a follow Friday tweet tomorrow? Do you know what? I get FFs all the time, and no one ever follows me from them. But please, feel free. Uh, Doug's Twitversary is September 17th, 2008. He wanted Swampy, but obviously that one was long gone. So he was uh, now Swampy no more. 
but he's also struck out on various combos of his real name since that, too. Oh, well. Who do you like in Dover this weekend? Uh, Jimmy Johnson will win, and I will be bored. I will be wondering why I'm watching the race instead of football, as I do every week. Greg says, your pronunciation of Bowden was spot on. I hope I remembered it. I probably get it wrong there. I was amazed that my settlement check was so large. Me too. I gotta cash that sucker. Oh yeah, it's in the car. I was assuming you're gonna hold up a check for two dollars and eleven cents. To be honest, I kind of thought I was too, but like I said, not chump change. As for a gimmick to get more Twitter followers, you could knock out some wrestling recaps. I did ROH for thirteen weeks and no one followed me. In fact, I only got two emails out of it. That could have been because I was doing ROH instead of something people watched, but. Or take Doug's suggestion. What was Doug's suggestion? Something about Follow Friday. What, beg for Follow Friday? Do a Follow Friday tweet for myself? I'm not sure what that means. My quest for followers continues. Thank you for following me on YouTube. I've gone over. Uh, we'll wrap it up with a content-free Friday tomorrow, as I'm sure I will have nothing to talk about having blown my wad today. Actually, what will be most interesting is to see what time I show up. I really didn't think I'd make it to 7.30 today, but by God, I did it one time this week. Oh, so tired. Thank you. See you tomorrow. I hope.